as we draw a picture of DAO tokenomics, um, we have at the front end the user um, that has their wallet with their tokens in it, uh, where they can control access to their data. Um, and the tokens are going to be controlling access to their identity uh, and their extended identity, such as healthcare data, uh, which may be held in a in an NFT uh, and all the other NFTs uh, they hold. Um, they'll have their money uh, by way of that marketplace token um, or perhaps um, a fiat um, CDBC, for example. Um, and they will have... Um, these utility tokens, which they have perhaps earned as rewards, uh, which can then be used to access um, goods and services on the marketplace. Now, those tokens could be rendered up in a Web3 context, or they could equally be used in a Metaverse context with or without um, a Web hookup. Um, at the back end, we have, of course, the blockchain, which is where the state of these objects is stored uh, by way of ownership and by way of who has done what um, in our blockchain. Um, and then in the middle, we have our DAO. This is our organization that we need to govern, which will bring together the various members of the network um, and will be defining the values of the network and will be defining the rules of the network uh, which can be voted upon um, and which will be governing the library of applications which uh, will be converting value uh, for those users. So this then is our first picture of the DAO as a token economy.